Honey B, you're on video. What are you doing? You want to see? Yeah, I want to see. What this is, is that? So a wheel. <laughs> it was, I thought it was either wheels or a dumbbell. You know, weightlifting. Yeah, it's like a dumbbell. Are you making a tractor or working out? Secret. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the camera and say hi. <laughs> hi, Joe Spiceland. <laughs> yep. Thank you. My goodness. Woman, what? you made a big mess. That's okay. Guys, what's going on? So sorry I haven't pumped out a video in a long time. We've just been busy and I get tired easy. So I had to take a break, but I want to do one today and show you a guest house that we're working on that we own because it was always cool. In the Philippines, I had the, the castle. I always had something to video every day. You know, and you guys were interested in it. Well, now we're here in Missouri. I showed you we grow mushrooms and I don't have something to video every day. And I like to keep it interesting. So I decided I'm gonna show you the guest house, but I'm starting in the log cabin because I wanna show you a lion's mane mushroom that we're growing and it's good for brain health. And I really need that. So I think I'm gonna grow one every month from now on. So here's the lion's mane on the old wood stove. This is what we heat the cabin with when we're not in the Philippines. Check this out. It's got little fuzzy hairs on it. And you're, here I can show my hand here. So that shows how big it is. And uh, what we can do and this is in plastic bag. I just cut a slash in it. And maybe today, I don't know. We're going to supposed to wait until these hairs are a quarter inch long, which they're pretty close to that. Harvest it and then pull the bag out, turn it around, put it back in the box and slash it again. And I guess you can do that four times. So now that you saw the lion's mane, hey, isn't this a cute picture? <laughs> I like that picture. So I'll take you outside and we'll go to the guest house. Honeybee made me this handle. Isn't it awesome? And she even said handle here in case maybe I get Alzheimer's and forget. God forbid. God forbid. So far, so good. And I'm going to eat a lot of lion's mane to keep up my brain health. So, oh Lordy, I got the motorcycle out. And now I'm just a little bit nervous to ride it down that gravel driveway. It's actually sat there for two or three weeks. When I do, I'm gonna build a little motorcycle shed down there. Actually, my buddy will. I don't do a lot of work anymore, but uh, my buddy Jason will make a shed down there and I can always direct traffic and, you know, tell him what I want. And Jason's such a loyal, good friend. And he, he just lets me tell him what to do and he does it. So let's, let's walk around the back. Oh, we still have this plastic up from the winter time. And I know it looks ugly pugly. But we're going to screen that in. We have the screen material and uh, we'll get that all screened in and maybe we'll put some kind of stonework here. It'll be pretty. Right now it's ugly. So honeybee helped me put the stain on here. Man, it turned out so pretty. Oh, and I wanted to tell you, remember when the castle looked ugly pugly? like really rough work on the cinder blocks and all that. I said, guys, just bear with me, just wait. And you're gonna see it'll look really pretty when they put the rendering on the, you know, the concrete. And now it does look nice. We still need, kind of out of breath, sorry. We uh, still need a finished coat. I forgot what they call that and then paint. But yeah, it's so, with the guest house, it's super ugly right now, but just wait, we're gonna, we're working on soffit today. Jason is. 
and we'll get siding. I want to have a deck built on the front. It's going to be beautiful, but just wait. You'll see. I built it 17 years ago. The guest house. Isn't this pretty back here? Honeybee loves it that I put, made it like a prison. She just loves it. He said, Joe, you're so smart. Honeybee, uh, don't you just love these iron bars I put on the windows? Yeah. She said, my honey's so smart. <laughs> There's back door. Anyway, everything's a work in progress. Super slow for me anymore. Here's a massive pile of cedar logs. They're beautiful. You guys have seen uh, hope chest or any kind of cedar that's got that clear coat on it after it's sanded. Cedar's beautiful with that clear coat, like a gloss. This next log cabin, which is gonna be right here, is gonna be these cedar logs. It's gonna look outstanding. So this is a huge pile of what are they like eight inches by 10 inches and they're 10 feet long I guess and I harvested all those cedars and cut them on a sawmill so here's the cabin right behind the cabin you guys this is a double top secret deal so don't be spreading it around but we'll be able to come out the back door and down I don't know, can you see the trees are growing out of that hole? That hole's about 12 feet deep. Basically, it's 12 by 12 by 12. That's going to be a double top secret bomb shelter that nobody's going to be able to find us. Because, remember the cedar logs? The cedar logs. I'm going to build a cedar cabin right here. You know, just right on top of the double top secret bomb shelter. Don't spread that around, though. It's just between me and you guys. We can't be telling the Russians or anybody. I'm going to take you through a path, and we're going to check out the guest house. So come along with me. And this is our property here. Through the woods. Jason made this path for me. Now see, this guest house is on one acre and it's all fenced in all the way around, four sides. Half of it is wooded and then you can see the opening, the field on the other side. So half is grassy field and half is wooded. And it's ugly now. I put siding on it with the uh, camouflage siding because I didn't care. But now I do. I want to make it pretty. I'm going to put some nice vinyl siding on it. Jason! Yeah. I'm doing a video. Be good. <laughs> you don't have to act like you're working though. So this is it. It's 20 feet wide and 24 feet long. It's small, but it's medium pretty inside. Well, it used to be. I junked it up now. I'm going to show my friends, my subscribers. So Jason's putting up this soffit, aluminum soffit. We're venting half of it and half of it's unvented, you know, solid. So we did this whole front. He's coming down this side. Here's where I cut it for him. Or sometimes he cuts it if I get tired. See underneath here, this is where I kept goats. Oh, they were so noisy. That's why I had to get rid of them. So noisy. So I originally made this. Oh. For a goat house i just wanted to keep goats in there and then all of a sudden you know how the castle was supposed to be a one story then it accidentally turned into a castle <laughs> this was supposed to be a goat house and i was serious but then 
you know how it is. I got sidetracked and now it's a guest house. And here's my other house, which I sold right over there. But anyway, see, we got this side done. He had to climb way up there and he's got that done. Yeah, I might as well show you the back. I would say tomorrow he's going to do this and finish it. And then see this crazy, you know, I think I call it real tree. Yeah, I think it says it right up there. But yeah, it was just a hideout. But now I want to make it pretty and either use it for a guest house or possibly sell it. So, you know, we'll put a deck coming out here and we'll put a driveway through the field, put a gate. And I figured, you know, a guy can, this is a terrible picture. You guys know I'm terrible at doing videos anyway. I'll take this goat fence down. You could put, put a four wheeler in there, put a tractor in there, put your tools in there and then park underneath the deck is what I'm thinking. I'll take you inside. Don't be scared, it's pretty ugly. But we're gonna make it look nice. You got it, Jason? Doing okay? Oh yeah. Man, you're doing a really good job. Thank you, sir. No problem. Nothing can stop Jason. You know, it's months, it's probably 10 months since I came in here before yesterday. I don't know. You never know. Migrants might move in. Homeland Security. Okay. Nobody's living in here. It is trashed with a capital T. But let's see. So all this junk. I just put shelves. This is where all my DVDs go which Honeybee says I have way too many DVDs. So, see, see the wood stove? I have to pipe it out yet. That's an awesome wood stove. Has a glass front. It has a blower on it. So right here, I'm gonna put a bed. So this is, this is open, one room. So we were in the bedroom. <laughs> this is like the bamboo house. Here's the living room. And now we're in the kitchen. Let's walk over. To, so I had this so nice in here and set up. And now it's all kind of junky, but that's the bathroom sink. We're still building the bathroom. We're not actually putting a toilet in the kitchen. But uh, yeah, don't worry. This is going to be pretty. We get this all done. So we, this is where I'm putting the bathroom. I got a shower with rounded glass. Goes in there. And the glasses in the corner. This is a really pretty green paint. I really like it. But uh, anyway, so this is the back of the guest house. Put a couch there. Of course, that's the living room. And there's the front door. So, guys, this is the project. For Missouri. We're going back to the Philippines October or November, something like that. And uh, But until then, I'll do videos of working on this place, or you can watch Jason work on it. Here, let me get the door. I'll show you the progress. That's the deal, guys. See ya. There's the log cabin back through that path. Bye.